Hi, Kevin here. We're back for round two, part two of how to use main stage with the Alesis Nitro Mesh or other electronic drums. And today we're going to go and look at the software. If you haven't watched part one where I show you how to program the brain uh, for the Alesis Nitro Mesh to work with main stage, go back and watch that real quick. And while we're here asking for things, please, if you could, I'd love it if you could uh, subscribe and all the things, ring the bell, etc., etc. I know I don't put out videos as often as I'd like, um, but when I do put them out, I see tons of viewers, but uh, not all of you are subscribers, and I plan on doing more. So I'd love to have you along for the ride as I figure this out and hopefully teach you something. So we're going to switch over to the computer screen view so you can see what I'm doing, and we'll go from there, okay? So, here you can see, check one, two, here you can see um, I have main stage loaded up full size. Uh, again, main stage is from Apple. If you've got any sort of recent uh, Mac of any sort, um, it's a fantastic program. It's an unbelievable value. $29 gets you all these drums, but on top of that, full end sampler, all guitar models, keyboards, bass modeling, all those things, $29. It's basically all the audio stuff that comes in Logic Pro, but for performance only. As you can see here, um, I actually have this custom rig that I made. And you can see I um, extended my Alesis Nitro Mesh uh, rig and made some custom stands and put on a monitor using a standard monitor mount bolted on here. And so it's really handy. So right next to the kit with my right hand, I can just reach out, do what I need to do, and everything is right there. When I get this integrated back into my big uh, acoustic kit, I'll be able to have my recording software, control of the mixer, everything right while I'm sitting at the kit. I'm really excited for that to happen. Um, but let's take a look at here. So in main stage, there's if you download all the sound packs because once you install it you have to download a bunch of stuff afterwards from them you get an amazing array of sounds and drum kits straight from the um, factory if you will that you can tweak to a certain level as we talked about earlier in the first video the one limitation of main stage with electronic drum stuff is it's set for a five-piece kit only. You can't add another tom, you can't do any of that stuff, unless you get into the whole advanced piece of, it comes with a full sampler, which you could load up samples for anything and everything and assign them to any part of the kit using MIDI. We're not gonna touch that right now. We're just gonna look at this piece of it. So you can see here, you make a patch list, almost like a performance list, and it allows me to quickly, with my arrow keys or the mouse, be able to switch between drum kits. So I go from Bluebird down to a super heavy uh, kit sound here. Some fantastic sounds that are in this system. And you can arrange these in any way, shape, or form you want so that you can set up a playlist of the different pieces. What's fantastic, and I'm not going to go into it too much, but you can also then call other software instruments. So for example, here I'm calling Superior Drummer for this kit. It takes a few minutes to load this one because it's in a big one. Um, but once it's loaded in, I'm actually playing the sound uh, from, from Superior Drummer. And then if I go down one more, now this is calling a drum kit from Easy Drummer. So it's pulling it out as a software instrument, bringing it in. So in this playlist, I can have sounds from main stage, or I can call other sounds that are based on AUs or VSTs, depending on what you have on your Mac. Um, so that's from the DW kit. So we're going to stick with what comes in the package. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different names, different products here. Um, it's a little angry at me at the moment now because I switched through a bunch of them really quickly. We'll let it catch up. So there we go. Um, and you can see there are pluses next to these. There are default kits that come with this, and then there are producer kits with the plus next to it that just have a few more controls. You can see from the default here, you got some basic settings that you can muck about with just from this 
part of the thing. I'm going to show you how to go into even deeper. But you can see we have some volume changes going on here. So in this kit here, I take the kick drum down a few dB. I brought the toms down just a little bit. I've cranked the hi-hat up. I have found that on most of these kits, the hi-hats on all of them, you do have to bring up. Um, you can even mute them out um, if you want. Gone. Back in. You can muck about with the compression. And you can even muck about with the room and tone effects that come with this. So that's got some room sound. And then we can take this and dry it right up and bring the room sound way up. Subtle, but it is nice. Uh, same with the tone. So we'll just set that back to normal and we'll set this back to 39. So you can hear that there. So when you make some of these changes, you then can save that so that now this Bluebird Plus kit that we have set has been customized a little bit, but you can go even further. If you come over to the channel strips and there's a toggle to turn these on and off, go to the channel strips, you'll see the first thing always is drum kit here in this input. If I click on this, this is where the real power comes in. So now what we're looking at is a representation of the kit. And what you can do is select different pieces and now customize it even further. You can work on the tuning. So bass drum, let's tune that down. You can go way down, right up and a click. We'll set that back. You can do the dampening, gain, then you can get microphone leak. You can set the overheads and you can also set the room sound and there are two different rooms. So the B one's a little bit closer of a room, is a little bit of a bigger of a room. You can even change the type of bass drum you have here. Birch, Maple, Punch, Pawn Shop Loose, 70s Acrylic, 60s Deep. So you can really, that's a, a felt beater, a wool beater, Punch. So you can really get creative within the software and change your kit. You can even change your toms out from a classic 60s to birch or anything else. And what also is nice is you can edit the entire tom rack set as one, or you can individually go through and change each of the three toms with tuning, dampening, and gain. So if you have some specific interval that you want between the drums that doesn't come out of the box, and you want something a little bit different, maybe you take it out high tom and you want to bring it up and now you have a whole different range just on that kit and then you can save it so again some real flexibility same with the hi-hat gives you a whole selection vintage rods different beaters modern bright you can do the tuning dampening gain again overheads room sounds all those sorts of things crash symbols same setup and the ride symbol the same thing tuning dampening gain all those pieces are customizable for each one of these kits which really lets you fine tune what you have again for 29 dollars it gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility and variability and the samples are fantastic the dynamics on them are great here's uh, the brooklyn plus kit Again, some fantastic sounds, again, for $29. And what's nice is, if you really want to get advanced, you can really mess if you know what you're doing with, with all these channel strips to deal with all the different effects um, all the way across. If mixing is your thing, you can really get a lot of value out of this and really become, uh, really make it your own. Um, we're going to turn on these inspectors so that I can show you how to add a new patch. So. We're going to hit the plus key and now we have an untitled patch and we're going to come down here to instrument drum kit and you'll see these have the common names you see over here like that bluebird in brooklyn but way down at the bottom of these producer kits and now this is where you get um, a little bit more control and a little bit higher um, customability from these 
So I'm gonna grab, let's see, what don't I have here? Um, let's pick this Studio R&B. So now it's gonna load in the default kit. We're gonna turn off the inspector button so we can just see what we have here. Ooh, it's a very nice, kind of 70s dry. With a sort of lo-fi sort of bass drum. So again, come over to the drum kit, click on this, and now we can see, oh, it looks like they've given us some acrylic, <laughs> given us the acrylic 70s plexiglass toms. Uh, mixed it with a 60s felt bass drum and a bell brass snare. Some vintage dark, vintage dark. Well, they matched all the hats, which is nice. So here, I feel like the bass drum is a little too low, so let's jump in here to the bass drum. Bring it up just a little bit, let's put it in the overheads. Dry it up. That snare is super dry. Now uh, let's turn the overheads on. So again, now we've kind of... So anyways, that is just some of the things you can do with this. Now that I have this in this mix, now if I want to strip away all of these pieces, I can go to the Perform button, and now it strips away the rest of the interface, and it really is designed for me to be able to... And then quickly step down to another kit, Get some nice dry as it loads in. This is a fun one, this Motown one. A little uh, back line sort of thing. Uh, this heavy one is a lot of fun. Uh, it brings into mind a lot of Led Zeppelin. Fantastic. But then you can really get interesting with some of the international sort of flavor ethnic kits. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, there you have it. For $29, all this fun sounds, high quality kits built in if you have a Mac. Again, probably the best value you can buy. I mean, you can't buy a cable from Apple for less than $29. You get all of this for $29. So I highly recommend if you play an electronic kit or if you play keyboards or you play guitar or play bass and you have a Mac, it is worth every penny to get this um, piece of software. You can record straight out of it. Uh, just records it as a wave or an A file. Um, you know, so you can even do straight up recording of your stuff to throw into another mixing program or send it to a friend or whatever else. But again, I can't recommend it highly enough. If you can swing it, it's a great addition to any electronic kit. Again, if you watched part one, you see how we programmed it to match this. Um, and there's some links and stuff in that first video. Again, really happy I could show this to you. Please like, subscribe, send me a comment. I love writing back to all your comments and questions. It gives me ideas to do the next video. And it's just nice to interact with other drummers that are going through the same journey as I am. So till next time, thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.